that was our goal at the beginning of the season was to make it to regionals. Um, so we achieved that. I think that's kind of expected as far as where Oregon State's been the last few years and where we're going. Um, so we're not going to really be satisfied until we get to nationals. So that's our main goal is to go down there and try to win a golf tournament. Uh, we, I mean, I've chatted with the guys all season about a lot of stuff as far as tournament experience because we've got such a young team. Um, and it's exciting because a lot of these guys are starting to come on right now. I mean, Nick Sherwood's playing great, David Fink, Johnny, Casey King. I mean, they all just need that experience. And once they get that experience, they'll have a little bit more of that belief. So try to, I try to like instill what it feels like or try to get them to picture what it feels like to go to nationals and really tap into that so that um, so that they can get excited about it a little bit and start kind of to the point where it's deja vu as far as their mental practice goes. Patience, um, f 54 holes, because everyone's grinding so hard. There's a lot of pressure. I remember coming down the stretch, we were in like fourth or something uh, when we saw the big leaderboard on like the 16th hole, and that's probably the most nervous I've been. Um, but I performed under those, with those nerves, so that is a huge experience, just knowing that when the nerves come, you know how to handle them. Um, that'll be huge for the next few weeks. I mean, you get confidence from knowing that you've competed against or beaten the teams that are there. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, everyone's playing their own ball, um, so. You don't really worry about what anyone else is doing. You just try to beat the golf course. My goal was to just start to, just to be in contention as much as possible. Uh, I knew that you just got to get yourself in, in contention. You got like 100 guys every tournament. You just want to have a chance coming down the final nine holes to win a tournament. So I've done that a few times this year, and I've gained a lot of experience. I felt like I was pretty consistent as far as uh, my play went this year, and that's, that's how you get an honor like first team all pack 10 is the consistency throughout the year. So that's it, to be named first team all pack 10 is kind of obviously because the pack 10 is probably the best golf conference in the nation. Um, it's a pretty big honor. So I'm excited. Next year, we'll uh, assess some new goals probably at the beginning. I drew a lot on my experience from the duck having the lead. Um, I thought I learned a lot there as far as how to handle the final round and stuff like that. So I was a little, I mean, I knew it was pack tens, but at the end of the day, it's just a golf tournament. I, f I felt like it was just one round. It wasn't my final round. It was my, just one round and a step toward where I'm kind of headed right now. Um, so that kind of took a little bit of the pressure off. And I just tried to go out there and be as patient as I could, have fun and enjoy the experience. And it was probably the most fun I've had on a golf course for 79 holes. I mean, it was that, I mean, that's why you practice to see if you're, you'll hold up under the pressure. And it held up pretty well. Um, obviously disappointed I didn't win, but gained a lot of experience and confidence from that week, definitely. I think a lot of the time we beat ourselves, kind of as far as giving shots to the golf course that aren't necessary. So if we, if we go down, out, down there with the mindset that we're not gonna beat ourselves, we're gonna let it come to us, we're gonna stay within ourselves and be as mentally focused as we can for 54 holes. You know you're going to have adversity, just knowing that it's going to happen and how to deal with it and knowing that you're going to have a good stretch of holes. Try to ride that out as much as you can. Um, but if we get five guys firing on all, all cylinders, we'll definitely be at nationals. I'm mean, really excited. Uh, it's a great opportunity for the guys. This is what we've been working for all year. We've been talking about getting to regionals and how hard it's going to be when we get there. Uh, we're going to have to play our best to advance, but I do think finishing in the top five is something that's very attainable. Well, I think uh, just about all the teams in front of us we've played this year except for Liberty. So I think it gives the guys a sense of, okay, we know we can play with these guys. Uh, I think it's it helps to feel like we've played against these guys like Cal and Washington. We just played with them last week. Um, so it doesn't, even though they're ranked ahead of us, I don't think they're going to feel like these guys are unbeatable. I think they're, we're going to go in there feeling like we can finish in the top five. We know what these guys are about. We just play our own game and play our best and let the rest take care of it. We haven't talked about it. I think the guys know it. Um, I think Johnny and David and Casey all kind of know that we're going to need them to perform for us to make it to nationals. It's funny, I just came from practice this morning and I was thinking, you know, David Fink was hitting a chip shot. I'm like, he's a freshman, but now at this point of the year, it's he doesn't really feel like a freshman. He's finishing his second year as a redshirt freshman and now it's time for, and I think David will be ready to go.
Yeah, we did talk about the beginning of the year. We thought um, we want to change the perception, I guess, of the program where making it to regionals is a big deal. Um, my goal for the program is that we we make it to regionals every year and that it's more about getting to the national championship and being there every year. Alex has been awesome. Uh, his growth, I think a lot of it's come from his maturity. Um, he's just controlling his emotions better on the course. He has, he puts so much time in and he has the ability. It was just a matter of when it was all going to click. And I think now that he's kind of feeling more confident in himself and in his game, he's also taken a bit more of a leadership role with the guys, being more vocal, trying to talk to him about what he's working on. And so that's been great for the team too. I think, especially for Nick Sherwood, I think Alex is pulling Nick along with him, which is great to see. Uh, but individually, Alex, you know, like 63 at Eugene, tied for the win, and, you know, unfortunately lost in the playoff with the Pac-10 championship, but he's without a doubt had one of the best seasons in school history. If it wasn't for Diego last year, this was by far the best season in school history probably. Well, uh, we're going to just practice like we have been. I'm going to, on Saturday, I'm going to take the guys up to Royal Oaks and play up in Vancouver just to get them to, just to see a different course and go have some fun for the weekend. Um, but other than that, we're just, it's business as usual. I talked to the guys yesterday about really focusing on these six days to make sure that when we're at practice, because they still have a lot of school stuff, guys are taking midterms and a lot of stuff going on. So just making sure that when they're at the course, they focus as hard as they can and get as much out as they can of their time and don't waste any time and make sure that when we get to regionals, when it's time to go on Thursday morning, that we feel like we've done everything we can and now it's time to just go play golf. I think we're going to do our work on Wednesday, and then from there on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm just going to let the guys play. Uh, I don't know that there's a whole lot. I mean, obviously I'll be there, and but there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do. It's going to be up to them to perform, and I don't want them to feel any added pressure for me. I just want them to go play golf, and I really believe that if they just go play and play like I know they're capable of, uh, when it comes down to that last nine holes on Saturday afternoon, we're going to be in a fight for the fifth spot.